The Kaduna project, which is the third of its kind built by a veteran international footballer, Ahmed Musa, is the largest and equipped with more than facilities. Briefing DITV News, the technical officer of the project, architect Saidu Mohammed, said the complex has shopping plaza, gym, swimming pool, snooker, table tennis, eatery, event center of 1,000 capacity, and five outside football pitch with about 500 spectators capacity. Architect Mohammed speaks more on the project. We have pool here. This one, we don't have swimming pool in Kano. We have very much larger uh, event center that can pick up about uh, 1,000 people or even more. And then we have the football pitch we have here, which is five aside, of course, but can also be used as seven aside because of its size. It's very massive, and uh, we have the capacity of over 500 spectators. We have a plaza that has so many shops on the ground floor and the office, uh, little spaces on the first floor. We have a gym where you can go for your fitness. We have a lounge, we have some food with the bar as well. We have a, a garden where you can have, uh, you can, you can host birthday parties and any smaller activities that is, that has to be social, uh, social gathering. We have conveniences that can catch up with all our Eastern customers that will come because this place where we expect a lot of people to come. We have enough parking space for everyone. Even the, our hall, not our event center, can be converted to so many uh, functions because we have planned for having a partitionable uh, material so that we can use it for different purposes. So, I mean, just for a start, we are going to employ not less than 50 people, and uh, subsequently we are going to add more because it's just the beginning, okay. and we are trying to, we are going to expand, of course. So, after this first employment, we are going to add more, and we expect them to come from nuclear carnage in the state. They don't have to be from this particular place. Even though we are going to emphasize more. And uh, what do you expect from the host community? Well, we expect them to cooperate as usual because we have been cooperating with them. We employ their youth. The assistant project technical officer, Emmanuel Alexander, called on the host communities to support the effort of the founder, Ahmed Musa, because of the enormous importance of the project and the benefits that could drive from it by protecting the facilities. Um, well, I wouldn't say we're employing everybody from the community. This is something that the whole state will benefit. By understanding, I think we pick few from the Kaduna South, we go to the Kaduna North and pick few, we we'll just rally around Kaduna itself, not coming only the community. You know, it's not going to be, you know, it's something that it's meant for the whole state, not only the community. So I think employment is going to come from the whole of Kaduna state. So what is your appeal to the communities? Are? Okay, we're appealing to the community that in as much as they have something like this, as massive as this, um, security-wise, it's not only us that will cater for this, this project. They should come and join hand with us so that at the end, this place will be secure. You know the way Kaduna State has been, everybody is scared, crises and all, but I believe that Kaduna State now, it's actually a peaceful state where everybody, the Muslims and the Christians will come together and work together as one. And um, I think there's another thing the community came with, the whole of this area, we don't have lights. Okay. And appeal if we can talk, speak to Ahmed Musa directly, so that even if he's a transformer, he should be able to provide them with a transformer. It is expected that the project, when completed and commissioned in December this year, will bring to three number of sporting complex built by the founder, Ahmed Musa. Mohammed reporting for DITV.